An abnormal reaction to an abnormal situation is normal behavior. The quest for meaning is the key to mental health and human flourishing. The attempt to develop a sense of humor and to see things in a humorous light is some kind of a trick learned while mastering the art of living. Self-actualization cannot be attained if it is made an end in itself, but only as a side effect of self-transcendence. No man should judge unless he asks himself in absolute honesty whether in a similar situation he might not have done the same. It is here that we encounter the central theme of existentialism. To live is to suffer, to survive is to find meaning in the suffering. Even when it is not fully attained, we become better by striving for a higher goal. Love is the only way to grasp another human being in the innermost core of his personality. Between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space is our power to choose our response. In our response lies our growth and our freedom. Live as if you were living a second time and as though you had acted wrongly the first time. Life can be pulled by goals just as surely as it can be pushed by drives. Being human always points and is directed to something or someone other than oneself, be it a meaning to fulfill or another human being to encounter. When we are no longer able to change a situation, we are challenged to change ourselves. Challenging the meaning of life is the truest expression of the state of being human. Ever more people today have the means to live, but no meaning to live for. Ultimately, man should not ask what the meaning of his life is, but rather he must recognize that it is he who is asked. The more one forgets himself by giving himself to a cause to serve or another person to love, the more human he is. Happiness must happen, and the same holds for success. You have to let it happen by not caring about it. Each man is questioned by life, and he can only answer to life by answering for his own life. To life, he can only respond by being responsible. Religion is the search for ultimate meaning. No one can become fully aware of the very essence of another human being unless he loves him. I recommend that the Statue of Liberty be supplemented by a statue of responsibility on the West Coast. I do the unpleasant tasks before I do the pleasant ones. Pain is only bearable if we know it will end, not if we deny it exists. When a man finds that it is his destiny to suffer, his unique opportunity lies in the way he bears his burden. Man's inner strength may raise him above his outward fate. The last freedom is choosing your attitude. When a man cannot find meaning, he numbs himself with pleasure. Every human being has the freedom to change at any instant. Man is not fully conditioned and determined, but rather determines himself whether he gives in to conditions or stands up to them. 
a man's concern, even his despair, over the worthwhileness of life is an existential distress, but by no means a mental disease. The more one forgives himself by giving himself to a cause, to serve, or another person to love the more human he is and the more he actualizes himself. In times of crisis, people reach for meaning. Meaning is strength. Our survival may depend on our seeking and finding it. Man can only find meaning for his existence in something outside himself. If there is meaning in life at all, then there must be meaning in suffering. The more one forgets one's own self, the more human the person becomes. Each of us carries a unique spark of the divine, and each of us is also an inseparable part of the web of life. The point is not what we expect from life, but rather what life expects from us.